Today I want to talk about regular expressions in Android. So let's get started. Let's go up to view. I'm going to enter presentation mode. And I'm doing this in IntelliJ IDEA. You can do the exact same thing inside Android Studio. I'm just doing it here so I can get feedback, immediate feedback. So let's do something. Let's do S out hi. And I'm going to go ahead and run this. And you see down here in the console we have hi. So that basically just outputs system.out.println outputs whatever you string you put inside of it and s o u t is the shortcut to get to it so done um, something like that so now I'll run it and now we have hi done so um, what you can do you can follow along with like log.d or whatever in Android Studio but just I want to isolate the part that we're working on which is the regular expression part so let's let's uh, and so yeah you, normally you're not gonna have this main function this is just for command line Java apps Let's go ahead and do string text equals hi. So hi, how are you doing today? You should be familiar with that. Um, just a, st a string text as the variable name equals hi, how are you doing today? Now let's go down here. Let's do pattern p equals pattern dot compile, and we're gonna pass in something. We'll I'll just do you for now. We'll get to that in just a second. Now we need a matcher, so matcher m equals matcher dot uh, uh, no 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 p dot matcher, and we're going to pass in the text. So what we're doing here, we have let me see, I get this on its own line here. I'm going to reformat the code. So we have this string that, that should be familiar with you. Um, you just string text equals whatever. Uh, we have a pattern. We use the pattern class, and we use compile method on there. And I'm just passing in you. Let's just pass in. Uh, a. Let's just pass an A just for example. Now we have mat a matcher, the variable we aren't using yet, so let's go ahead and do a while loop. So while m dot find found m dot group. Oh, we need a plus there, giving me an error. I'm going to run this and just this will make more sense hopefully. So it says found A, found A. What's going on? Well, so basically we have a string right here, and a regular expression is going to search through that and find whatever it wants. And what it what we're looking for is an A. Say we put in U. Um, go ahead and run that. Uh, now it found U, and the found is right here. This is equivalent of doing something like log.d, and you just output something to the console in Android Studio. But I'm just doing this in IntelliJ IDEA, and you could follow along if you want or do it in Android. It's just a little bit slower there. So we can basically put in whatever word we want. So let's do R and let's run this. And our while loop is going to loop through all of them. And every time it, it finds something, it's going to output to the console. It's going to output found, and then the name of whatever it is that it's searching for. So this is kind of powerful. But you might think, hey, well, what if you want to search for all characters? I'm going to put a square bracket there. And I'm going to do A to Z. And uh, this is probably best explained through example. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And let's see what happens. Uh, we get a bunch of, we get an I, O, ha, o, we get a W, we get an A, an R, an E. So what's going on here? It's basically going and searching through A to Z. Well, first it's taking this string here, uh, the hi, how are you doing today? And it says, hey, anything that's an A between an A and a Z, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way through the alphabet, all lowercase, it's going to find that. And you're probably wondering, well, first character is an H. Why isn't it matching it? Well, it's because it's a capital H. So if I want to do all characters, I do A dash Z like that. Um, and then this should get the, yeah, so it does hi. So it gets the hi, how, are. So one plan. Hopefully this is making sense. But let's do something else. Let's put a plus there. So what is that going to do? Let's, let's go ahead and run it and see what that does. It basically looks for the rest of the word. So not exclamation, not the, not the question mark there. But other than that, what it allowed it to do is it says, hey, so between that and that, we want to match some certain characters. What are we going to match? A capital A through capital Z and a lowercase a to lowercase z. And this plus means keep going, basically. So keep searching until there's a white space or until there's an exclamation point or a period or, or something like that. So that's, that's the basics of regular expressions. So we can also do just lowercase. So get rid of the capitals and see what we find here. We find an I, that's from the high probably. How are you? Uh, the H is capital, so the H is not there. The are you doing today? 
Um, so this is kind of your introduction to regular expressions and you can just copy that code right here and do that in Android Studio. Um, and then some, some like you can do, you can do a while loop and, loop and put it in the console in Android Studio. Anyway, this is a quick introduction to regular expressions. Um, so let's put that back to A to Z, capital A to capital Z, lowercase a to lower, lowercase c. And hopefully you'll learn something and I'll make more videos on regular expressions soon. Bye.